In other news tonight, for many, the covert world of espionage disappeared with the Cold War. But there's a new spy game in town, one that is secretly turning everyday people in Northeast Ohio into secret agents. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson has the story tonight of the spy next door. When you think about the threat of foreign espionage, the Cold War and James Bond come to mind. Not anymore. Now you're talking about economic espionage, and that is one of the biggest national security concerns that we have. FBI Special Agent Brad Beeman heads the counterintelligence unit in Cleveland. He warns today's spies are just as interested in the office computer as government secrets. Other countries that aren't necessarily friendly to the United States are gaining our technology and gaining an edge potentially over us. The most dangerous spy isn't necessarily working for a foreign government with a license to kill. It's someone working for a local company with a computer password. At Lubrizol, a disgruntled employee sold trade secrets to a competitor in South Korea. The company has declined to comment on damages. South Korea surfaced again when a NASA Glenn employee allegedly used his credentials to acquire high-tech infrared technology for another company there. Eric Vanderberg is an expert in information security at Juranoff, a Cleveland company that investigates corporate espionage. How's business for you guys now? Well, I'd say it's good. Very busy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're always busy. Vandenberg says the corporate espionage game in Cleveland is worse than most realize and more than companies care to admit, often involving cyber thieves and people known as social engineers. Social engineer is a, is a person who is going to use persuasion to get you to divulge information or perform some action for them. Social engineers scour the Internet looking for someone to manipulate or even blackmail into divulging company secrets making the co-worker in the next cubicle or the neighbor next door a spy. Local companies aren't the only targets of economic espionage. A lot of our research is conducted at the university level and it's unclassified research, which means that it's much less protected and it's easier for people to gain access to it. The FBI is looking into a number of cases in our area. Corporate espionage has been a growing problem in Northeast Ohio since a federal law was passed against it in 1996. One incident involved the Cleveland Clinic, and that was the first case ever prosecuted under that law. The FBI says it is currently working on several other cases, but declines to specify exactly what because they're still under investigation. Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5.